come to tonight's, uh, tonight's session. And tonight is going to be our first project and it's going to be on function and it's going to be the total model. It's, uh, it's a particular library, a particular kind of uh, model or a kind of framework that is set aside for drawings of shapes and different objects in the Python programming language. So we'll be seeing a whole lot of concepts tonight and please pay attention carefully. So what I'll do practically just to find a way to search the, uh, the, uh, the documentation ourselves and let's see how we can actually navigate through it. So first of all, we'll just go, I want to do like more of a practical kind of thing. Maybe as I told you, Let's go and check what is total all about. So I'll just share my screen. And once I do that, I will try as much as possible to go to uh, go to yes, let's just uh, let's just search total. Let's just search total in Python. So I want to just say total in Python documentation, just say document documentation. So you can see I can decide to click this is the first. You can see it's HTTPS doc dot Python. So we can see what it's really all about. And let's see what it is. So what is it? It don't be simply what a yes, total graph is the popular way of introducing programming to kids. So for example, if you, if you don't get it right, it means that hey, this is only, it's only for kids kind of stuff. But definitely, if you go along when it comes to certain things, there are certain questions they'll ask you on total, which is very, very important. So we are, set, we are taking it step by step. So what we do in total is simply to, there are certain ways of uh, you, you use and uh, working with it. The first one is for you to, first of all, you have to import the total itself. You have to import the total. That's why I say we should use PyCharm. We'll see how we can import certain things. We have been using import math already. So how do we move, how do we move in, a, in a total? Uh, well, how do we do it? So total.forward. And you can move it. Maybe this particular number is actually showing the how many, how like how far can it move? Let me like 15 pixels and the rest. So there are certain ways either it turns right or it also turns left. So we're going to be seeing a whole lot of things tonight. I don't really this if I, I don't want to really want to bore you with all this documentation. These are documentation that has to do with the total uh, library itself. How do you go forward? Uh, total dot forward dot position and all this and that. So we're going to just see a practical step of this. How do you move backward, total dot back and all those things, total dot RT, total dot LT, and we're going to see it ourselves tonight. So please let's just pay attention. So I'll go straight to the PyCharm and let's see how we get to that. So there's some things already, but let me just control A and backspace. So we'll start from the very beginning. So how do we get to Toto? So Toto is a graphical kind of a library that is used to draw shapes and is a way of introducing uh, Python, or uh, is a way of introducing graphics or programming to kids. So at this particular point, we are actually kids in this, if you look at it in the, in the right sense of mind, some of you have not programmed before, most of you have done that and you are even getting better day by day. So we're just going to try, try as much as possible to introduce it in a way that is presentable enough for us. So first of all, we are going to import the total library and how do we do that? So we're going to just say import, import what total, so we import total. Once you import total, you click on, click on enter. And guys, please pay attention to this thing I'm going to tell you. Once you're importing total and you try to reference it, you're going to put it in a particular instance. Yes, we have not taught object-oriented programming yet, but sometimes you have to put it in an object. And how do you put it in an object? By defining it, maybe giving it a variable name and instantiate it and put it in an object kind of way. Do not worry about the instantiation and the object kind of way. When we get to object-oriented programming, we find a way to explain the concept. But at this particular point, we are just trying to instantiate a particular kind of class. And this what we're going to do is going to be T equals to, we're going to call the total itself that we have imported, the total itself that we have imported dot. This dot is trying to tell you that I'm calling out inside this particular total model. There is a particular one I'm actually calling and let's use the capital dot 
capital T, T L E. So once I do that, it is this is me trying to instantiate a particular kind of class. So this total dot T U R T L E is a class of its own. So a class is more of like an object oriented kind of programming stuff, which we are going to we are going to know it in the nearest future. I'm very sure we are as far as you get to the final stage. So object oriented programming is like a grandfather of all programming kind of language. If you understand that concept, very sure that your programming knowledge is actually very, very wide already. So, so just get it straight at this particular point that we are instantiating a particular object. And this particular thing we are doing is T equals to total dot uh, capital total and put it in a kind of a parenthesis. So the next thing we are going to do is definitely we want to start to move the object and try to draw shapes and the rest. But first of all, the main thing for you to do is to put this thing in a particular, uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call total dot main loop? That means you're trying to put, if you do not bring out this thing, it's going to cause an error or it's going to cause your PyCharm or your total package to, to do what, not to work properly. So you must, first of all, just as if you're starting a screen, you must also have an ending of that particular screen. So anything that happens must be in between. So if you are if you are into web development, you see that once we start, we see the head, we see the the body, and all those kind of things. So all the, all of them will be inside a particular kind of word body. So at this particular point, we actually call out the word the turtle. Call out the turtle dot what main loop. Main loop. We can see there's an option already coming up. So anything that we do is going to be inside this particular distance between the, the, the import total and the total dot main loop. So first of all, how do we how do we move in total? Very soon we'll be seeing certain things moving on our screen. And I'm very sure that I'm sharing my screen, not a particular kind of window. So how do we move forward using the total uh, library? So how do we do that? We simply do what since we have actually instantiated this particular class to be T. So we are going to be using that T and we are going to be moving and making our movements in this particular tool. So the first one is going to be T dot. We're going because we you, you can actually you can use maybe like you use F or anything, or maybe just put any name you that you feel that is comfortable enough for you. So you can see that different options already showing here, saying showing that BK, uh, BK, FD, HD, LC, and the rest. So we'll be seeing this. Tonight. So let me, the first one I'm going to be using is the FD, and I'm very sure it's going to be, uh, we're going to see how it works for us. And once I do that, I can say this particular number that is inside here is known as the movement of it in pixels. And let me try as much as possible to run this and see what it will give us. And let me, let me, so I'm going to run, run main. Guys, if you can see, if we can see my screen right now, if you can see my screen right now, please, please confirm that what, please confirm what you can see right now. Uh, Mr. Gabriel, please, what can you see on my screen right now? Um, a forward arrow. Very good. Forward arrow. Thank you very much. Yes, with a white background. So this is the Python total graphic that is actually coming out. And what did I do here was just simply was just for me to simply do what, simply do what, uh, T dot FD means I am moving it forward and that forward I'm moving, I'm using the 100 uh, pixel movement and everything is inside my total dot main loop. So if I go back and if I go back to my screen, you can see, I can decide to do what, close it. I can decide to close it. But if I did not put in this total dot main loop, it could have cost, in the long run, it will cause an error in your particular kind of when you're moving with the total graphics. So try as much as possible to put all of them in between this particular, the total, the import total, and the total dot mail. So it has moved forward 100, uh, 100 uh, pixel. So we can cancel it and we go forward again. And let's try and say, okay, maybe we want it to turn left. After moving uh, for 100 pixel, we want it to turn left and let's see what it will give us. So left, to so turn left in, a, in your total, 
is simply going to be what? It's simply going to be LT, which is to turn uh, left. And we, let's turn this left to a particular degree. And that particular degree is simply going to be, let's use 90. And if we do, you do this and we try to run it again, try to run it again, you can see what happened now. It has moved 100 pixels. And after moving 100 pixels, what did it do? It turned left. If you can see the arrow, it's pointing left. It has not, it has not moved left. LT means to turn left. RT, turn right. So you can see it actually moved, it moved forward. But after some point, when it got to 100 pixels, it decided to turn left. So these are things we will try to use to form shapes in the in the long run. And please also, wherever you are, you can actually be trying it out something. So let's just try another thing. Maybe we want to create something else. Let's just use, uh, let's move another distance. Let's say, uh, let's say we want to move maybe a pixel of uh, 300. And once we do that, we tend to want to run it. So we run it, you can see, guys, you can see it now. So I'm increasing this. So it, after it came forward 100 pixels, it turned left and moved 300 pixels. So these are things that are actually very simple enough for us to get. And so uh, at this particular point, I will just decide to keep quiet and say, okay, what if we want to form a, let's say what we, what we what we have done now what we want to form a rectangle how can we make it possible what should we do now we have moved 100 uh, 100 kind of uh, a, a a vertical kind of let me say a, a a particular kind of rectangle that is actually in an in a vertical kind of direction not the one that is just like a horizontal kind of a, a position a one that is just uh, a vertical position is what can what you, the idea with what you have just done now what do you think we should do what is the next thing you feel i should type in here which of the uh, movement should i do right now if you know it just raise up your hand we want you to be as practical as possible mr gabriel your hand is still up, still up. okay mr gabriel your hand is up can you run, run okay. it please it's not possible uh, Mr. Tosin, uh, you want to answer? Okay. okay, guys, I'm not seeing right up, left, down. Please put in the uh, the pixel, Mr. Francis, please. <laughs> okay, guys, so what are we going to do? The next thing we're going to do, we want to turn left. And how do we turn left? Mr. Francis is saying turn left and right down. So if, if I'm turning left, what pixels am I using, Mr. Francis? I, I saw your message. What pix, uh, what, uh, uh, what degree am I using? Okay. Depends on the Ooh. number of sides. If you are using 100, then it can be 100, 100, 100, 100. Okay, so right now we started with, we started with 90, so we are continuing like this. And Thank once you. we try it out, so let's just try it out and see. You can see it has decided to turn left. So anything that happens right now is simply going to, if you put a forward movement right now, it's going to move for, uh, forward. And once it does that, it, the next thing is for it to turn uh, uh, left again and calm down. So what we're just going to do is just a very simple thing. I just want us to see how you guys can. Uh, so what should I do next, guys? I really want you to take part. So FD. What, what am I putting here, guys? 100. 100, okay, let's try. So 100, so we will put 100 and run. So you can see, so it has moved now. So the next thing is you're just going to do what? What are we going to do next? Now it's on the right, in the, we're on the right part. So what's the next thing we, should, we feel we should do? So we're still going to use the T dot, what are we doing? Are we turning right or are we turning left? Left again. Uh, okay, left. I think, uh, left. Okay. Left. Uh, Charity Charles, are you sure it's left? 
someone is charity Charles. I'm very particular about helping people here. Uh, <laughs> is, that, is it left or right? Okay. Um, since uh, we used um the last one, we are going yes. left. Since we are forming a rectangle, is hundred we use. So since we are forming a rectangle, as you said, so we need yes. to uh, come a whole arrow so that we can now come down in order to form okay. the box. So in the process of coming down, we are definitely going to turn left. Yes. Okay. So LT and what? How many? Uh, what fix? Uh, what degree are we using? When it comes, to what angle are we turning? Is it ninety? Is it one eighty? Is it two seventy? Or what? Ninety. Um, ninety. Should good. be ninety. It's ninety. 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 Okay. Up. So let's let's see how it goes. So let's run it again. So let's check it out, guys. So it has turned left. It has turned left. The 90 degrees is really like we're looking at 90 degrees. Once you're moving, like it was moving backwards, like as it was going in a forward. And once it turned left, it went in a forward direction. And how are we turning left? Turning left 90 degrees means that you are turning to the what directly like a vertical kind of direction downward. That's what an angle 90 is at that particular year that we did mathematics in school. So this is 90 degrees, that's turned to a 90 degrees direction right now. This is 90 degrees direction. So the next thing we are going to do now is to move it forward, is to move it forward in, in what direction again? So is to move it forward in a what direction? Who can tell me, just tell me, what do you think we're going to do? T dot forward. FD. okay. What, is, what are we using? 300. 300. 300. Thank you very much. So let's see how it goes. Let's just see how it goes. It's a very simple thing, though we tend to get more of wonderful things coming up. So if you can see, this is more of like a rectangle kind of situation. So it's very simple mm -hmm. enough. So now let's start, let's, let's start going to something more different. And let's just try and comment this one out. Let's try and comment this one out. So um, before then, before then, uh, let me show you something very uh, wonderful as well. So if you want to clear your screen at a particular point, you're doing all these things and you want to just clear your screen. How do you do just the T dot C L E A R and definitely are going to put it with what with a parenthesis open and close. And if you run this, what what is going to happen here? If you run this, you can see now. Immediately you finish running, it cleared the screen and the arrow is still pointing downwards. So this is not trying to, this is just trying to tell you that you have actually cleared the screen, but you have not done what we call a reset kind of uh, issue. If you reset your screen, to face downwards at all. So let's see how it goes for if you try to call out the, the, the method to do what to, Reset your screen. So at that part, this particular time, we use what the total dot reset screen. So total, total dot reset. So reset. You reset your what your screen. At the time you reset your screen, you see what would just happen right now. And let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So. You can see the direction of the arrow. It means that this is this is a proof that you have done, you have resetted your word, your screen. So at this particular point, I would like to I would like to say I want to create a a, a square, but let me try as much as possible to comment these things out, like for the one for for the one that we have just done for rectangle. So let me just uh, com uh, comment this out. How do I comment in on PyCharm? Guys, please pay attention. Once I highlight the part I want to uh, comment out, I'm going to use the control and forward slash. Mainly I use the control and forward slash. You can see all of them have been commented out. Instead of going each line and saying, uh, put one color, uh, uh, what do you call it, hash, 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 and, and you waste your time. So let's try as much as possible to, oh, sorry, control Z and come down and all of them have been commented out so it will not take part in our code except the one on top here which is number two which we are already we are instantiating a particular kind of object 
And once we do that, this is this will not longer take part in our code anymore. So what we want to do now is to try as much as possible to create a square, to create a square. So what we are going to do, the concept of creating a square is simply going to be what I'm trying to, let me just understand the concept of creating a square. I'm going to have to move forward. Maybe I'm going to move forward, maybe like, let me say 100 pixel. And once I move forward 100 pixel, I decide to go left and, and that left will be 90 degrees. And I go forward again, the same 100, I come down again, I turn left, the same 90, and I come down, I, I, I move forward again, the same 100 until I get it to square. So let's just try and see it out. And very soon we are going to introduce another concept in programming known as looping and to see the difference of how we can actually get to appreciate loop instead of just doing this thing repeatedly. So let's just go straight and do uh, t t dot fd and we're definitely going to use let's use when we say we want to use 100 okay and we want to turn it to a particular uh, a direction and it's 90 degrees it's going to be t dot definitely we're turning it to instead of using instead of using right and left let's just use rt now this is rt and let's turn it to 90 degrees kind of right let's see if it's going to work for us and Let's let's run this and see what we we'll have for now. So you can see it has moved and now it is turning to the right direction. It's turning to the right direction. So what I'm going to do simply the basic idea is going to be simply to do what copy this and paste all this. So I'm going to do it four times because I believe it's going to be that way because it is it is definitely a square. So what I do control V, I enter again. Control V and enter again and control V because all of them will definitely go in the same. It will definitely go forward, turn uh, uh, turn to right, go forward again, turn right, and I can use it again and again. So let's see how this one will work out for us. If it's going to be more or so you can see, guys, you can see it has come up and it has become a square. So instead of all these things that we have done right now for, let's say, uh, a, a square, all because we know it's going to repeat four times. It's going to repeat four times because the same movement is moving forward 100. It's uh, uh, changing the direction 90 degrees, doing it four consecutive times. So how do we not do all these things, copy and paste, or maybe wanted to create a lot of things, uh, maybe different varieties of uh, squares, we, we do this, we we'll come and do all these things repeatedly, which is not going to make a whole lot of sense. So what we are going to do, we are going to introduce the concept of looping. We are going to look through a particular, uh, this particular uh, direction that we have gone, we have gotten the kind of values you have gotten right now. So how do I do this? First of all, I can decide to reset this screen again, I decide to reset it, but right now I just want to do what, to comment it out. Remember what I said, commenting out. How do I comment this out? So it's simply going to be. Okay. I'm having, I'm having issues commenting. So control forward. And once you do that, this does no longer take part in your code anymore. So how do we do it? Enter and let's try and use a loop. So what we are going to do now, we're going to simply say, for a particular, for this particular directions in which I want to have put that is the forward and the right, I need it to be in a range, and, and that range is going to be four times because a square has four sides and it's actually going to move in a four times kind of direction. So what do I do? I can say for for I can be you used to see kind of these kind of things in in your coding where you see go to research and you're seeing things for for I in range and all this so so for i in range and it's going to be four what are we going to do what are we going to do someone is saying something in the group i might not really pay attention right now so for i in range four it means for anything i there right now is called an arbitrary kind of variable it has not been defined categorically like like how we used to define a variable but in like in a cloud in a kind of cloud kind of a space or in a kind of uh, maybe in a in your mind 
you're already seeing that this i belongs to a, a it has a value and those the value that it has is the f the t dot f d there which is 100 and the t dot r t which is 90 there so we are going to put in the values there and say for every item that is moving it we want it to move in a range of four because simply because it's a it's a square and it's the same thing repeated all over again so there's no need of doing this thing uh, one after the other as we did before so what do we do we're simply going to we are simply going to define it t dot fd which is we used uh, we used 100 before and we use uh with this t dot let's use rt and we're changing it towards to 90. so once we do this uh, let's see what we are going to have okay so let's see what we are going to have. Let's see what we are going to have. Uh, let me see. So you can see, guys, it's all it's definitely the same thing. So instead of instead of just going this one after the other, because we know that this is a square, it is perfect enough for it to work for us. So we decide to just use a four. Loop. I think we have done this for loop before. I think one of our classes I tried to introduce this concept. So we are integrating it little by little. How are we? How do you understand this? For i in range four, it means that we are moving this thing four times. If you look at what we did here, we did this one once. This was the first one, the second, the third, and the fourth one. So we got a range, and that range was just four times. And we are now introducing the values in which we have instantiated. And this is hundred, and this is ninety. And looking at the, the whole pre, uh, concept of total, this is what's moving forward, and this is what's moving, turning to the right direction. So, if at this point do I have any question, please do not hesitate to ask me. And the next few minutes, you'll be you'll be asked to do a particular kind of drawing, and let's see what you can come up with. Okay. So at this point, I will stop my screen sharing, or I can decide to just go straight to the group and wait for questions please i'm trying to make it as simple as possible guys okay uh mr have your hand yes let me share my screen so that i see what is happening <laughs> okay sir okay you you can share your screen now uh okay let me open it. please if you have any questions okay before as you share your screen what I want you to do, guys, right now is to form a rectangle, but this particular rectangle should be facing in a, it should be in an horizontal kind of position. The one we did right in a, recently, just a few seconds, a few minutes ago, was the one facing in a vertical kind of position. So what I want you to do right now is to do a one, a, to do a particular drawing that makes the rectangle face, uh, the rectangle is, is, in, an, is in, in an horizontal position not vertical as we did just try it out and let's see what you come up with please Sorry, just try it out is my screen showing now yes it's showing right now uh, so just so look what i've done i've imported created the instance now if i run this can you see the screen yes i can see your screen like no fuel for it to move it's just standing one place no fuel for it to move. Uh, just one, please. Mr. Mr. Francis, please, where is your total man loop? Why are you putting it outside? Uh, I should put them together. You're, you should only have one total man loop. One total man loop. Total man loop. It should be one and it should be in between. Like any code that you are doing, it should be in between the t is equals to total dot total and that total dot main loop. Everything that is outside that code is definitely going to draw an error and it's not going to give you what you want. Uh, Just like saying the bottom, you must start with the other one. The main loop must be the last thing in your code. The main loop must be the last thing in your code. Yeah. Yes, that main loop. I'm seeing things under this, the main loop. I'm, I'm seeing things under this main loop that you are running. 
I was just trying to do what you are doing, but okay, no, this so is not I... what I was. This is not what I was doing. I can, I can put to you. This is not what I was doing. <laughs> I was copying what you are doing, now. So stop it and run it again, and let's see what you have. So something is changing, right? So you are so actually on. So that loop will come down first. It's supposed to be four times. It's supposed to be four times. You are doing it twice only, so it's not going to. What am I doing twice? So I have to put it like this. Is that what you are saying? What do you want to create? Which object do you want to create? Maybe the square. You want to create a square? Yes. For you to create a square, you need to repeat it four times. The main loop is too many now. Sorry, the main loop is too many. It's only one main loop. I think that's what I saw. Uh -huh. Mr. Kwemi, your hand is up. I can't really hear. Mr. Who is Mr. Al? Hello. Yes. Can sir. you hear me? Yes. Okay. So the the classwork is done. I've uh, uploaded it in the Teams uh, chat room. Please drop it in the group chat. It? Drop it. Drop it in the group chat. I'll check it now. I'll check it now. Just like submitting it as a classwork. I've not I've not gotten to check it yet. Everybody is still battling with something. So please, I need everyone to to submit that particular work right now. Please just try and submit it. It's very important that you submit. Okay. okay. You highlight it. I'm seeing Mr. Uko's message. You highlight it, all of them, and press control forward slash. OK, well done. I can see your work, Mr. Kwemi. It's, it's nice. It's wonderful. So we start applying certain concepts to certain things right now. Uh, let me check the group. Seems you're having certain messages in the group. So can you please, can you please show this, show the screen again. Okay, I'll be, I'll be in shortly. Okay, Mr. Geb. Okay, Mr. Gabriel, well done. Can we use collab? I said collab will not be used at this particular stage because it may not really have what you need. There are certain uh, graphics, uh, this thing that are not available on uh, Colab, but it's actually available on the computer. Okay, I should share my screen. I'm going to share my screen now. This is what we have been doing so far. You are. Please, I need everyone to try this out. You can try other things by yourself. Can try other things by yourself. Uh, I just want everyone to try something. Sorry, I'm just joining. I'm logging in now. Please, next time, please try as much as possible to come in on time. Everyone should try something out. Please try something. I do not want because once you start feeling overwhelmed, you may not you may get the particular concept all wrong. Please, wherever you are, try something now regarding this particular. Uh, thing we are doing. If we have 100 days, we have time to learn. Yes. So let's take everybody yeah. out. Some persons are just out of the less the classes. Please, I want everyone to take the class. Uh, somebody is owning somebody is Can somebody mute that radio, please? Uh, please. Can someone mute that radio, please? I can see Mr. Gabriel's submission. I can see Mr. Kwemi's submission. Please, I'm still yet to Okay. Share your screen. Share your screen. Who, is, who is playing the Share your screen, yes. Please share your screen. Let me see your code again. Please, can you help us share your screen, please? The codes again, please, sir. Uh. 
Mr. Gabriel, did you put it in the for loop? I'm seeing your work on in a, in the group that is that it keeps on moving up and down. Yes, I just increased the number in the for loop, but I, I okay. needed to change the figure so it can run back okay. on the same triangle. I made it 64. That's why it's running like that. Okay, okay. Um, please. Mr. Francis, your hand is up. Please share your screen. Let me see your... Okay, I can see Mr. Ko's work. Well done, well done. We'll be drawing a whole lot of designs when it comes to this. Uh, okay, there is a background noise interference. Someone has, someone was disturbing there. Mr. Francis, at this point, we may not be able to share our screen anymore. We are not allowed to share our screen anymore. Okay. Please, I'll start calling names right now, and I'll, I'll very particular about the name. Check the WhatsApp page. Okay. Okay. Please, I'll start calling names from now. I need everyone to take part in this class, please. Please, everyone should take part in the class. It's very important. Okay, Uko, Uko I'm seeing, I've seen your work already. Please share in the, in the chat room or anywhere you want to share it, please. Okay. All right, so uh, Mr. Bethel, have you been able to solve your work? Mr. Bethel. I'm on it. I'm on it. I don't have net of where my place. I just stepped out of my house now to run for network. I'm able to something now for the group. Okay, okay. Please try as much as possible to do that. Um, then the next one we are going to do now, for those that have done their work, Try to put what you have done right now in a function. Try to put what you have done right now in a function. Like create your own function. You can name your function, can name your function square. Put a, that particular thing that you have done in a function right now. Wherever you wherever you are, try to put your work in a function. Whatever you have done right now, put in in a function. Put a doc string in that particular function and say that. It draws square with a turtle. Put a dog string in that function and say in that dog string, put say say so, put something like this. It draws a square in turtle. Put it in a function. Whatever I told you to do about a square. about a square, the drawing for a square, wherever you are, you have done it for those that have submitted already. Yes, you have done a fantastic job, but now what I want you to do is to define a function, put it in a doc string, and in that doc string, the information in the doc string is saying, just say that it draws a square and return your value for that particular, uh, put it in a for loop and make it, or maybe put it in, you can put, uh, you can you may not put it in a for loop, but try as much as possible to define it in a way that we can actually make it work for us to draw a rectangle using a function by defining a function right now. Okay, let me see, Camille, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Mark. Please, can you share your initial screen, please? So most we're just trying some things um, on our, to see okay. how.
Please, I need everyone to drop some things in the group chat. Please, everybody must take part in the class. Uh, let me go to the group chat and see what is going on. Okay, Mr. Gep, uh, is that your work? Okay, and let me say what am I? Hey, Mr. Sencha said, what am I doing wrong? Okay. Okay, what you are doing wrong is simply because you are running two things at the same time. I'm seeing things, two things. So what you are going to do is to comment that T dot F D down to where you have down to where you have t dot rt90 the last one comment it out and also when you are putting in a range it's already showing you an indication that there is an error so what you're going to do and your total your dot total it should have a parenthesis open and close you are calling out a particular module in that particular total so it needs to be in a parenthesis that your capital t u r t l e should be in a parenthesis no, and that's why it's been telling you it's telling you missing one required positional argument distance oh, and no, it's no, also no, telling you so uh okay <laughs> Mr. Gabriel, what are you, oh my goodness. Wonderful. It's nice that you're trying wonderful things like this. <laughs> okay. So this is... Okay. All right. Okay, did it work for you, Mr. Gabriel? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, well done. Okay. Uh, this, uh, M MDU, what are you drawing? <laughs> this is not a rectangle. Mr. Fon, this is not a rectangle. I'm seeing another shape entirely. Uh, sorry, please, how do I go down? Oh. It's a trapezium. I need a trapezium. Now, Mr. Pay, I mean, this, this is not a rectangle. This is a, this is a square. I was looking for a rectangle uh, uh, function. I thought you said a square. I, said, I thought you said square. <laughs> This rectangle we are drawing. I said rectangle. Please, I'm sorry about that. If I said square. All right. I'll correct that. All right. Please, I need everyone's everyone to take part in this class. We have changed the pattern of learning. Everybody must be involved. Please, I've not seen some some persons trying. I appreciate them for trying that. She has tried and she has seen a mistake and she's doing it. Please, I need everyone to take part in this class right now. I need to see what you are doing. Please, Mr. Dwag, please try. Mr. Solomon, please just try. Tosin, please try. Mr. Dinaka, Oja, Ama, Divai, Nena, please just try. Obey, Obey, uh, Ali. Please sorry, just try. We are taking everybody along in this class. Charity, I'm not seeing your work. Oh. It's very Hello. important. No, I'm trying. Oh. Please, can you help me? How do I go down so I complete it? How do you move down? Yes. How do we move down in either you turn right? Maybe what you are building, are you turning? Are you need do you need to turn right to go down or you need to turn uh, left to go down? It depends. So maybe you could actually try something. <laughs> I don't know where to go again. Okay. 
Uh, where are you? That's where I am. Mr. Udwag, what did you say? That's where I am. I've shown you where I am. Where? Where did you share? Where did you do? Um, take them the, uh, the chat room here in the um, team school. Okay, the chat. Okay. Let me see your code. Let me see your code, Mr. Udwag. I'm not seeing your code. Sorry, my hand is up. Okay, let me say. Okay, Mr. Okay, my hand has okay. Been Yeah, sorry, I have a quick question. If you maybe comment a particular session of your code, how do you maybe undo that? Rather than maybe the removing it manually one after the other, how do you... You still do the same thing. Okay, you control, still do control forward slash. Yes, forward slash. Okay, control forward slash will undo it. Yes, well, as far as you highlight it. Mr. All Mark. right. So the, uh, the classwork I've done is again, I'm using <laughs> rectangle now, and it's okay. Okay, yeah, very yes, good. Fantastic. Yeah, please. Can you share back that screen of how you did the loop? I was trying. I was trying to do that looping on my device, and I, I missed it. I'm guessing an it, error. The looping. The, that, the looping yes. was for square. Yes, it's a square. I'm trying to see how I can work on my Python. I mean, I'm getting it slowly on my Python, but I, I missed the syntax. Okay, I'll share my screen soon. Thank so you. So this this is what we did for the. The square. I sent my code. Okay, I'll I'll check that immediately. So let me just, uh, Mr. Mark, can you see it? Uh, can screenshot it and use it later. Let me check Mr. Dark's code now. Okay, so let's go there. Let's see it out. Let's check it out. Let's see what. Okay. Okay, um, Mr. Udrak, please, where is your main loop? Where is your main loop? It's very important that your main loop should come last, and you are using right and left at the same time. For example, you moved, you moved to a particular direct uh, forward was 90. Your 90, you are moving 90 uh, pixel forward and you are turning uh, left. So the next thing should be, once you turn left, once you are going forward, that is the forward direction, you turn left. That means, as you are turning left, it means that that arrow is facing up. So the next thing you're supposed to do right now is to do what? Is to move forward, which you did. Once you move forward, the next thing you're going to do, since you are moving like this already on the horizontal uh, forward already, you move up, watch which, watch which was the turn left. Once you turn left, the next thing is for you to, do, once you turn left, the next thing is for you to do what? To move, which you have done for 300. And once you move 300, the next thing you're going to do after 300 is to turn left again. You are putting in, you are putting T dot forward again, which is not supposed to be so. So after moving forward T dot FD, you're supposed to move left. You're supposed to turn left. That is T on line 28, you're supposed to T dot LT and turn left 90 degrees. Once you do that, once you turn left, you move forward again, and that forward is going to be the same forward you used in in the very first beginning of your forward. So line 28 goes for um, left. 25 and 25 and 20 and 20, uh, 29 should be the same thing. Then 28 should turn left and move the same direction with the one, uh, yeah, the same forward with 29. I don't know if you get it, sir. 28, turn left, 90, 29, forward, 90. Yes, it's just like a normal logic kind of scenario. Just stand up wherever you are, you can stand up, move, just as you're moving. Or you take a byron and a and a paper and draw it yourself. Draw it. I think, I'm, it. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it, but what I have now is incomplete. Okay. 
Let me let me share my this screen is, again. Uh, Mr. Mark, your hand is raised. This is what I have now. I don't know why. Share your share it in the group. Maybe you can share it in the chat room, please. Share it in the in the on WhatsApp if you can. I've dropped it on WhatsApp. Okay. All right. I think there's there's let's we'll find a way out to to navigate that. Um see what I would like you to do. It's just for you to um wherever you are. You first before you start moving, the very first movement will be forward, which is going to be let's say t dot fd. Maybe you are using Mr. Ko, did it work for you? Okay. All right, without wasting much of our time. Okay, well done, Mr. Tosin. Well done, well done. Okay. So what we are going to do right now is I'm going to just tell one person to just share his or her screen and show us how we did it. We are far behind time. Okay, so guys, uh, who, is, who wants to share his screen? Wants to try it out? Who wants to try? Mr. Peremi, please share your screen. I can't. I I can't share my screen. I'm using my phone for the meeting and then I'm using my laptop for the except uh okay. I don't Mr. know. Mr. Gabriel, can you share your screen? Let's see how you did yours. Mr. Gabriel. Yeah, sorry, I actually I wiped it. I'm doing I'm trying to run some just rerun, try other things with the code. I, I didn't know I was going to need to share. Sorry. Hey, don't just share your rectangle. How you did your rectangle in your function? Mr. Hey, Gabriel, are you are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Let me switch to my laptop so I can um, share it there. I'm using my tab. I'll just switch and then. Okay. okay. Or anyone that Mr. Francis, did you get it right? Mr. Fonobon, did you get it right? Please, this is very important that you get it right because I think we will no longer want to be teaching and uh, be loading you with things. You need to do it yourself. Yeah, I did. I, I submitted the, the work on this. Okay. Is there any way you can share your can screen? You okay. Don't worry, don't do not worry. I just want okay. I want someone, a student to share the screen. So I'll see what the other so that other other people will see what the, the, the person did and how the, the person I've gotten it, I've gotten gotten it finally. Now. You have gotten it finally, yes. <laughs> Mr. Mark, mine is a circle. How? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> you wanted a rectangle, you're getting a circle. Oh god of mercy. How are we going to go do about? Who is trying? We need someone to share his, uh, the screen. Um, I'm trying to share mine. Okay. Can you see my screen? Can you see my okay, screen? Let, yes, I can see your screen. Can you see me? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right. All right. Okay. Since we were like trying to, you know, draw a a rectangle, and you know, we are working with, with the turtle uh, model. So first of all, we just have to, you know, import the turtle model, like I did here. Okay. Then we can now give it a, a variable which is, is turtle dot turtle like we are taught today, and obviously add the the parentheses here at the end. So since I was, you know, not Press enter, you know, to take it to the next line. Then we you know now from an uh, amulet of mathematics and all that rectangle has two sides equal. Yes. And also, it depends on how we want 
since you are moving to the right, you are, you are moving to the right, like you're moving from the left to the right, you have to turn right. So which means when you are turning, you're going to turn to the right. So if we, we wanted to turn to the left, we can just change this one to the left. So first of all, we'll now move. Since that is a default yeah. position, it's just the, it just fits the, in, on the total model. So the first thing we have to do is for us to move. So we now input, uh, should I say, 400 pixels that we are going to need. The, the number of units that we are going to move right. in front, which is 400. It can be 200, it can be any number that, that you choose to. And now <coughs> if you, you want to make that angle now, that right angle in a, in, a, in, in a rectangle. So what you do is you either turn to the right or you turn to the left. Okay. On the that, that you prefer. So if you are going to the right, you just m dot right turn that's how t you now impute your angle if you if, 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 if you want to create a rectangle it's going to be 90 degrees if you want to create let's say a, a trapezium or a parallelogram you can change it to like 60 or 80 depending on what you want so once okay. you turn you just turn that 90 degrees you are now facing downward from your from, from your new patient you're now facing downward so what you do is now you have to like move again so if you move 100 pixels you now move downward so you know you now get to a new let's say you copy from here copy from here out mm -hmm. i will try and run this and see we are going to press mm -hmm. 400 that 400 down and then you're facing downward this way so what we have okay. to do is like So we now have to begin 100 pixels in front. So once we do that, then from there we now we we'll have to turn again. Since we already moved the 100 pixels, like we saw in the last one, we have to turn to the right again, which is 90 degrees. Then once we turn, we have to move again for 400 or 400 pixels in front. Once you run it, it will it will move to the front. Sorry, it's a mistake. So once you want it to now move to the front, mistake there. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So from there now. Mm -hmm. From there now, since we have moved four hundred to the front, what we now have to do is like M. Dot. To complete the whole, the whole square, you know. Sorry, to, to, to complete the whole rectangle, the rectangle has two equal sides and which which are not equal, you know. So after the first 400, I feel you have to like out and I move to the right. Then 90 degrees. Then you now enter then M dot the forward direction. I should be now 100 pixels. So, so now you have the two long sides and the two short sides. That's the two 400 and the two hundred. So if you now okay. run this, it will now give you a rectangle. Now give you a rectangle. Check it out. Maybe there's there's an error somewhere. I think you are running other things in, in this particular. That is an error. So okay, I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yes, yeah, it's going to take up there. Yeah, I've seen it here now. I, 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 I have some other people running in. in, in yes, in exactly. That's, yeah, that's why. why. So uh, you can go back. Uh, yeah. Some persons yeah. have questions. Yeah. Mr. Mark, your hand is raised. Yes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really struggling. I mean, my, my line is starting from the center of my screen. Sorry, I'm using my phone, not my PC. And it's running towards the edge. So I don't know. How do I bring back the line to the center of the screen or towards or aligning it to, to my lens? I would, oh, like, I would like to see your code and your, your screen as well. Because... 
you're supposed there are certain things you turn right and left in your total graphics uh, uh, interface so you use your rt to move uh, to turn to turn to your right and lt to turn to your left then fd is to move okay yes so I think the only issue we had uh, was you, you joined later, that's so why you're, you're, you're still having issues, but I believe you can actually navigate it. So what you are going to do, let me let me go back to what I, I, did, I shared before. So, no, don't worry, I understood, I, I understood the telling you. The challenge I'm okay. having that on my own, because of my device, the, the line starts from somewhere halfway of the device and it goes towards out of the screen. Uh, so what you do is to look at the distance and use that part. Maybe change your pixel. Uh, maybe if you are using 200, change it to 30. Looking at the looking at the nature of your screen. So you can use maybe you can use 10. You can use 20. Just to make sure that you, your your this thing works well for you. But that 90 will still be the same because you are turning. Once it means LT and RT, you are not moving a distance. You are turning to a particular uh, direction. You are not moving. LT and RT. Yes. Okay, yes, I understand that. Thanks. I will try that out again. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll Any other person still having issues understanding this? Let me know. Yes, please. Will. How many persons? Please raise up your hand. Let's know. I really need everyone to take part in this class. No, you don't. You don't pass one out. You think I don't do things. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm having issues too. Okay, Jesus. guys, wherever you are, we are. The meeting has officially ended. Wherever you are, the meeting has ended. But if you have issues, please stay back and let's sort it out. Okay. Thank you. I'm having. Okay. You. Yeah, I'm having. I'm having issues. What I just have is just a straight 